Hello Life Engineers and welcome to the YouTube channel of the Life Engineering Foundation. This is a daily personal school for all those who would like to take the responsibility of their own education in day to day life. I am Shraddha and I have been discussing with you regarding A to Z of education series. In this particular video we have reached the English alphabet R which is R for role playing in education. So let us explore more about this in this particular video. Role playing gives opportunity to the students to play a role of a person or act out a given situation. These roles can be played by individuals or by a group of students or a group which can play out a more complex situation. Role plays engage students in real life situations or scenarios that can be stressful, unfamiliar, complex or controversial which requires them to examine personal feelings towards others and towards the circumstances. Students can gain additional or alternative meaning from the context of role playing, non-context specific books or book learning and lectures. Role play can actually help students gain knowledge, skills and learn from variety of learning situations. So let me give you some examples for role play uh, situations or exercises. It can be the very first one can be interview situation or interview practice. The second one is marketing. The third one is retailing. Next one is counseling and teaching. Now in the first scenario where I'm talking about uh, just practicing something as an interviewer or as an interviewee, it gives opportunity to get the feedback wherein students can face that situation before actually facing the real interview. So students can assume a role of an interviewer or interview and give feedbacks to each other and also feel how they are actually going to feel in that particular hot seat when they are there in front of the interviewer and feel the situation and also understand how exactly they should react to a particular type of question or a scenario during the real interview. We use role play also in marketing areas wherein we tell the students especially you know marketing students we use this scenario very frequently wherein we tell them to sell a product or we ask them to make certain uh, cold calling where they have to start the pitch with a new leads. In the retailing area we make sure that students play a role of a sales manager and understand what are their responsibilities in a better manner. In the counseling it can be used in any sphere of life. It can be a role play wherein students are talking about uh, you know their real life problem or they are talking about any of the uh, you know counseling required in order to choose certain courses or counseling required in managing the personal uh, issues or emotions in day to day life. So Counseling also helps very well in uh, as far as the role play is concerned. Uh, so role play is also used in the teaching line wherein we ask the students to become a teacher because we believe that you remember in a much better way when you are teaching than when you are just sitting and receiving the information. So when you are teaching something to someone, it definitely helps in retaining the information in a much better way. Also there are many other advantages but role play helps for uh, becoming a student student or teacher see the things from the other perspective and also parents can play this game with the students as well about they can uh, simply ask them that what have you learned today just explain it to me something like just teach it to me or something like that and it also creates the natural you know euphoria in children so role playing exercises encourages the students to participate and it also helps them in critical thinking and they are able to solve the critical problems easily not only this but this also helps helps them to see the controversial situation from the other perspective. If properly employed, role play can actually engage the students and it can be done in a very fun and engaging way. So now if I have to put it in a formal definition format, I would say role playing is a learning process in which the participants act out the role of someone else or the other individual in order to develop a particular skill and to meet particular learning objective. Now let us understand what are the benefits of role-playing exercises. 
the first thing can be it motivates the children it it also engages them instantly the second one can be it enhances the current teaching methods or current teaching strategies it provides real world scenarios for the learning purpose it also helps to learn the skills which are required in the real world like negotiation skills debate or teamwork cooperation and persuasion last but not the least it also helps in critical observation of the peers so with this we have come to an end of this video which was r for role playing exercises so i will meet you in my next video in the series of a to z of education till then stay tuned to the channel thank you